Hi everyone, Max here. Let's talk decks. Teams spend days moving boxes, fixing fonts, and hunting the right slide when the content already exists. A big chunk of our week vanishes searching and reassembling information instead of presenting it. About 8 to 9 hours weekly on search alone, according to multiple industry analysis. Copilot in PowerPoint flips the workflow. Feed it your source content and steer with prompts. It drafts a full deck, keeps the style consistent, adds or shortens slides on command, and even produces a crisp executive summary. That matters because early enterprise pilots show generative AI cuts time on common knowledge work tasks and gets you to usable outputs much faster, exactly what slide building needs. Personally, I hate working on deck design. This is not my strong side by any means, and I love when such apps appear. Previously on my channel, I shared another amazing pitch builder, Mana Slides, but it's not connected by default to your tenant and all the files you have. With Copilot in PowerPoint, it is much easier to reference any document, email, report, and more to build the deck you really need. By the end of this video, you will see how to go from content to a board-ready deck without template gymnastics or pixel pushing. Alright, so in order to have Copilot for Microsoft PowerPoint, you basically need to get a license for your Microsoft 365 Copilot. And I have a video somewhere here showing how you can get a license for your Microsoft Workspace account, either for personal or professional one. So once you have it, basically, this is how your entry window is going to look like. You can create a blank presentation, but now we have an option to create with Copilot. So once we click that, basically what it allows us to do is create a presentation about, and you can pretty much reference any document in your Microsoft Workspace. For example, I can hit reference files and I can find a specific file that I want to use from what I want to create a presentation. So let's imagine I have a report on AI in corporate finance market analysis. If I'm going to take a look how it actually looks, this is basically the file. It's a longer thread which consists of eight pages and almost 3000 words with different data in it. So now, for example, I want to create a presentation from that particular file. So when I go back, I create this link to a particular file and here I can also select a specific design that I want to use. If you use more Microsoft Workspace for your organization, here you will probably have your corporate design. But if you don't have, you can use pre-created designs like I do here. For example, we've got the citation design that I like in particular. So I'm going to use this design and we'll create presentation based on this file. So let's hit enter and wait for the presentation to be created. What we actually see here, it assumes itself how many slides it needs to create, what kind of content it's going to generate on the slides. So if we don't like a particular thing, what we can do is we can either delete a slide or add an additional slide or add a topic. So now it estimated that based on the content that we have in the Microsoft Word, it will need to generate 32 slides maximum 40 slides that can be generated. So I'm just going to go and generate the slides and see what we have. So this may take a while and we will be back once it finishes the slide deck. All right, so the process has been finished. Let's actually take a look what we have. So I'm going to just go and show you what presentation it has created and you're going to judge yourself what whether you like it or not. So let me hit swap presenters view and that's the title slide and Jedi highlights. Also, I want to keep your attention that I didn't particular ask about any animations. Um, it, all the animations that you're going to see were added automatically from the AI itself. And basically those switching animations as well. All right, so let's move on. By the way, all the images that you see there, those are either AI generated or stock images. So don't be worried about the copyright issues with the images. I should be honest with you, I really like how this part is actually looks and how it actually puts this in an animation like one after another one. This is looks pretty cool. Also, one more thing I wanted to show you is actually it not only adds the information on the slides, but if we look at the references to the slides or the notes of the slide, you can actually see that the slide references information from the following file and it basically links up the file for me. 
major financial institutions of fintech companies in Avia, overview registered company sector diversity so what i want to say it automatically adds also some notes from you know, on one hand where this information is taken from but it doesn't show a specific place it just shows the specific file and sometimes it will add a few notes for you so let's actually keep watching how the presentation looks that's interesting I like uh, a little bit of different design. That's pretty nice. Risk management. I incorporate finance across the Baltics. I mean, there are many, many slides that I can see of similar format where we see the title slide, which is good. And then there is basically a different kind of either image on the top, either image on the right and taxes on the left. I like that it's not kind of consistent and it always kind of swaps but i mean generally pretty much the same i would appreciate kind of a little bit more infographics or some icons on the slides but again maybe for some of you that's going to be just enough and i think generally these slides are looking okay yes that's not the best design i've seen in in, in my whole life but i mean for the most part if I need to present something and I don't really have to time for the pitch deck design. That's going to be good enough basically to pitch it. What I really want to stress there is the information that is on the slides. Yes, this information has been taken from the documents we are referencing. But I want to tell you honestly, this is very, very high level information. So. It might be the case that the information goes in detail about a particular topic, but this guy that puts the information on the slides, it just does a quick overview. Basically, it looks, as you can see right in here, there are different topics and basically there is like a one sentence in here. So what I sort of don't like about this one is that I really need to go and analyze what text has been put on the slides and edit the text in most of the cases just because it sort of summarized significantly and sometimes I would say I need a little bit more explicit information and that's fine that sometimes there will be more text on the slide but if the information is important to bring rather than just shorten the slide and you know do in a certain format that we have here for example there is a headline and there is some text going in one sentence after that so I kind of like the design, how it looks, and it's good enough. It's not the best design, it's good enough. But the text that is actually used here, it is sort of very, very high level. So if I were to use this text, I would need to actually go and deeply kind of um, research what's been put on the slides, and maybe I need to add some additional context. That's probably um, kind of my view of that. So once the presentation is here, you can basically go and use it as you generally use it. I really like the animation kind of style features that they've been added and I hasn't seen any animations from any other presentation creators uh, whatsoever on the market. So in this part, this is really, really good. And the other thing is basically adding notes to the slide. So sometimes if you're talking about like speeding on a public or somewhere, um, adding some additional notes that you need to be talking about on the slides is not a bad thing. So what's some other features that we can potentially use with this AI Copilot for Microsoft PowerPoint? You can go and hit create a new slide with Copilot. So we're going to say, create me a new slide about tech advancements in AI for corporate finance in the future. Okay. Again, we can reference a file or we can give it just general instruction as we did it right in here and it will basically generate me that kind of a slide once again you've got this design ideas and or design suggestions this is an older feature not related to the copilot but basically that's also an ai feature that will do the placements of some you know some of the graphs or images that you already have on the slides and you can choose the preferred version for you i'll go with the standard one that is provided right in here and i mean a basic one i mean that's it's just okay this information is not a reference to that file that we had before this is information that ai has just came up itself so once again if you want to make sure that this data is totally legit and automatic automation of routine tasks is what we want to be talking about in the industry and this is a trend 
then you need to basically check that. But you can use Copilot to create quick slides for you. As well as you can go right in here and on each slide, you will have this icon pop up on the very top that will basically do the same thing. You can either create a new presentation with Copilot. You can create a new presentation based on a particular file that we just had. You can add a slide or you can also summarize this presentation. So let's summarize the presentation. All right, and now what it's going to do is basically going to do the summary um, as it would do with any other documents. I'm not going to read that. So this is just for you guys to generally know what how this can be used for. And again, if you are receiving a PowerPoint presentation with a lot of slides, you can use this feature to summarize the presentation so you don't need to go over all of the slides. Sometimes that might be very, very difficult to do. And once again, we can start a new conversation right in here and use our copilot to search the web. We can use our copilot with different images. We can attach any documents view, pre created prompts from Microsoft. Ask Imagine if you have created one in the copilot studio, or we can just generally message whatever we want. For example, you can ask what questions might the audience ask about this presentation, right? And then it will help you out with that. So yeah, that's basically it. This is how Microsoft Copilot for PowerPoint works. You can create presentations, you can summarize presentations, you can create slides and presentations based on certain files, and you can chat natively straight in the PowerPoint. Hopefully that helps. Source to slides, extra pages on demand, a clean summary up front. That's Copilot removing the grind so you can focus on the story and the decision. And just a quick reminder, I run AI automation agency Flow by AI. And if you want to implement AI in your business, reach out to us at info at flowby.ai. Next up, the Copilot app. One workspace to chat, analyze, create and ship. Subscribe and I'll see you in the next episode.